Beginning with the end in mind, we're going to be making these really cool portrait drawings of carolers, people singing songs. So I'm going to go ahead and get you a piece of paper, and with that piece of paper, please go ahead and fold it into four sections. So hold, fold it in half one direction, fold it in half the other direction, so that you have four chunks of paper. Now you can use one of the templates of ovals that I have available for um, the oval to start drawing your head shape. When you've got that oval placed onto your paper, make sure that the oval is in the middle so that you've got the right amount of space above and below. They should be the same because what you want is you want your eyes to be placed on that fold line. Eyes are going to be placed in the middle of the head. So once I've got my overall shape of the oval, I'm going to start drawing out some eyes. When you think about drawing eyes, they're almond shape or more of the shape like a lemon or a football. They're not circular. The colored part of my eye is circular, but overall the shape of my eye is more of a football shape. Now once I've got my eyes drawn in, now I'm going to start sketching in my nose. So you can use the guide that just has a little line on it for the bottom of your nose if you want, or if you want to go ahead and add some more detail to your nose, by all means go ahead and do that. You'll notice that I keep going back to the guide and having it right beside me as I continue drawing my portrait drawing. It helps me decide where I should be putting my ears, where I should put my nose and my mouth and so on and so forth. When I add my neck, make sure that your neck stems and starts from the bottom of your ears and continues down. Now when you start working on the hair, you'll notice that there's a hairline and not every single hair is colored in in pencil. So instead I want you to think about drawing your hair like a shape. If you could only draw two lines to make your hair, where it starts and where it ends, think about drawing it a shape. We'll add more hair lines to it later, but don't spend a whole lot of time on your hair, especially because you saw the end in mind. You're not going to see a ton of hair anyway. So let's just go ahead and keep that light. Don't spend a lot of time on your hair. Just go ahead and do your best getting the placement right for the proportions of your face. Okay, now that once I've got it drawn lightly and I feel comfortable, I'm going to darken up and make my pencil lines darker now that I feel a little bit more confident and I like the designs that I've got for my face. Now since we know that we're going to be doing a person that's singing, I erased my pencil line of the um, mouth being closed because my caroler is going to have their mouth open so that they're singing songs. They're singing some some carols, they're singing some some music and so what I wanted to do is open the mouth I still have an upper lip and a lower lip, so I'm changing some things around just a little bit. Um, that's what's nice about drawing it lightly, because I can still make my changes. So now that I've got my items drawn in pencil, we'll go ahead and watch the rest of the video and we'll continue on. I'm just going to go ahead and take one of my Sharpies and go over all of my lines in black Sharpie so that you can see all the details better. Once you've got it outlined, let's start talking a little bit about a bit of color. I use some oil pastels to put a little bit of color onto my project so that it's not just one solid color. It makes it a little bit more dimensional. You'll notice that I'm mixing my colors, some yellows and browns, because usually hair tone isn't just one color. Using some oil pastels, I'm going to add a bits of color into the rest of my project. And as I was working, I thought, boy, instead of using oil pastels, you might choose to use chalks. Chalks have a tendency to blend into the paper a little bit better, so I'm going to leave it up to you to decide if you'd like to use chalks or if you'd like to use oil pastels. You don't need to color the whole page. You might just want to add a little bit of color and blend it into the paper so that it's not just one solid color.
Let's go ahead and cut off the leftover paper that you no longer need for your portrait. Glue that together. Grabbing some construction paper, make a hat, sweater, and mittens for your portrait. I tried to make my hat with my portrait right next to it so I knew how big to make my hat. I wanted it to fit the portrait that I just made. Using some pastels, decorate and design it however you want. Do the same thing for your sweater. Using my head as a guide, make some paper that could be used for a sweater and glue that together. You can design it with oil pastels too if you'd like. I'm having my hat match my sweater and my mittens. You can use your hand as a guide of a template for some mittens. I might even have some templates that you can use if you'd need them. Decorate your mittens very similar to your hat and your sweater. Now I'm going to take my mittens and fold them so that it looks like my hands are coming from my project or extending outside of my sweater. It might look funny right now, but when you get this musical paper placed between your mittens, it's going to make perfect sense and look great. Take your musical paper, fold it in half, add a dot of glue to the inside part of your mittens, and attach them together. Now you've got it. Your caroler is complete.